Well, the Brown Center Report's been uh, in existence for, this is the 12th edition of the Brown Center Report. It started in 2000. There were two years in which we didn't release reports. Um, it always is structured the same way. Each issue has three parts. We don't try to make them cohere. These are not three studies that necessarily go together. Uh, the first uh, study always deals with the latest data, either state, national, or international data, and assesses those data and tries to say something interesting about them. Uh, the second part addresses a major theme in education. This year it's on ability grouping and tracking. And then the third section addresses a policy question. And this year the question that we took up was uh, the algebra for all movement, the effort to place more eighth graders in advanced math courses. Well, the uh, latest Tim's and Pearl's data were released in December 2012. Pearl's is a reading test, uh, fourth graders uh, internationally. The Tim's is a test of math and science achievement. It's also given internationally. And uh, the United States did fairly well, actually, on both tests, so there was good news for the United States. The U.S. showed improvement. Uh, to give you an example, since 1995, at the eighth grade level, the U.S. has advanced about or gained about 18 scale score points, excuse me, 17 scale score, score points, which is statistically significant. Um, and the U.S., um, the average of these tests is 500 with a standard deviation of 100. The United States scored above the international mean. So fairly good news uh, for the United States.